Arduino, so the Arduino can take inputs from the environment and use that data to change its own behavior. Today, we are taking a look at the analog and digital input of the Arduino and use that info to control its output. Arduino commands for the input are digital read and that can detect 0 or 5 volts and analog read that can detect any voltage level from 0 to 5 volts. Let's see the digital circuit first. We already know how the digital write works. We will see the change using this LED as well as the serial monitor. Now, this is how you should connect the switch when you are taking input for the Arduino. When the switch is pressed, the input pin voltage will be 5 volts. And when it is disconnected, it must be set to 0 volts. That is why you need a resistor back to ground. Without it, the input voltage will not be stable. Now, looking at the code, we need to start the serial monitor first and define the input and output pins. In the loop, we have a variable named button state and the Arduino will read for the voltage from pin six and store it that in the button state. If the voltage is five volt, it will be one, otherwise it will be zero. Now, an if statement, if a statement is given. So when the switch is pressed and this is one, the LED will light up. Otherwise that is when the switch is off, the voltage is zero and the LED will stay off. And finally, we will see the value in the serial monitor begin simulation and when I, you can see first is doing is zero and when i press the button the led lights up and the serial monitor on the right shows one and if i let go the led is off and the serial monitor again shows zero now coming to the second circuit the analog circuit and switching to the second arduino code for the second one now, same connection as the switch, but instead now there is a sensor over here. The 5 volt and the resistor is connected in the same way, but the, uh, the output pin is connected to the analog output input of the Arduino. The same void setup, but there is no need to define the analog pin. Because analog pins, because analog pins only take do one task, that is to take analog input. Now the sensor state will have a value from the pin A0. Analog pins can take any voltage from zero to five volts. Five volt means 1023 and zero will store zero in the variable. Any voltage in between will have a corresponding number. And this time, this time in the statement, when, we, when the voltage is over 2.5 volts or to 512, the LED turns on. Otherwise it stays off. And finally, we're going to print the pin, pin output as well as the actual voltage in the serial monitor. Start simulation. And see the serial monitor is showing the voltage level currently given in the pin. Now, if I adjust the sensor input, once the change in the serial monitor, both the actual input and the voltage, you can use any two pin sensor like this and you can see the LED lights up. Let's try a different sensor. Absolution is get rid of this and add the flux sensor over here. For start simulation, 1.5 volt, and if I flex it up, can flex it like this. Shows less. Again, with another sensor, shows zero at first, but if I it goes high and the it turns on. So you can use any two pin sensor like this, and this is the basics of input, digital and analog input for the Arduino. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe for more upcoming projects and tutorials.